Metal Jesus Rocks here, and I've been in the mood to play a role-playing game, and one of the games that was on my shelf is The Bard's Tale. Now, this is a sequel to uh, in a series in the 80s uh, called The Bard's Tale, and there was a bunch of them. There was about three, and they were made for the Commodore 64 and the Apple computers originally, and super fun, really groundbreaking at the time. Thought it might be kind of fun to dig into this and do a review. All right, let's take a look. The Bard's Tale is an action role-playing game released by In Exile Entertainment in 2004 for both the PlayStation 2, original Xbox, and also Windows XP, although I'm going to show you the Xbox version here. The game takes place in a traditional fantasy setting similar to Lord of the Rings or Baldur's Gate. As a matter of fact, this game uses the same engine as Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance. You play as a sarcastic bastard known only as the Bard, who is not really interested in saving the world but instead more interested in coin and cleavage. His quest is narrated by an unseen voice that both mocks and makes fun of the main character, which breaks the fourth wall in really hilarious ways. I'm going to show you a clip about that right now. And then the bard looted the chest which contained the widow's most precious... Wait a minute. Did I read that properly? You're stealing from her? I wouldn't call it stealing, exactly. I mean, people leave all kinds of things in chess, and they never seem to object when I help myself. Think of it as a public service. I mean, who knows how cluttered these chests might become if I didn't do my part to help clean them out. In hindsight, I'm surprised it took the bard this long to get his hands on Mary's chest. The bard's tale should look familiar to fans of X-Men Legends and Champions of Norath. The view is always shown from the top down, and combat happens in real time. Your bard has the unique ability to use his flute to play songs that will magically summon up to 16 allies, each giving you much needed help in combat. For instance, if you summon the Enchantress, she can restore your health or resurrect you if you fall in battle. The Heroine is an archer that can rapidly shoot arrows, and the Elemental can shoot fireballs at enemies and also melt walls of ice that may impede your progress. Towards the end of the game, you can eventually summon multiple allies to create a fairly formidable party to help you with even the most difficult quests. Run away again, did ya? Go back to Perhaps one of the most talked about features of the game is the snarky or nice system of dialogue that allows the player to change the outcome of many situations depending on how they want to respond. At first, oh, no. this may seem like a the gimmick, right but it's fun to the discover right that being a consistently snarky bastard to, to a particular see. NPC fact, will pay off in different questing options. You know, and since this guy is such a jerk, it's only natural that I would want to play that way. And it's fun to see the dialogue that happens after that. I mean, some of it is just hilarious. Twas the least I could do for a damsel in distress. Now. How about that meal? Why don't you wait while I fix you some leftovers? Oh, and your room in the back is almost ready. You know, along with that snarky or nice dialogue, really the humor of this game is what sets it apart. And actually, I want to I wanna highlight that in the next video here, but I probably should set it up. Basically, in the very beginning of the game, you are tasked with killing a rodent down in a cellar. I mean, it's the typical sort of RPG thing for, for you to do. But the way it turns out is not exactly as you would expect. Check it out. Quest complete. All hail the bard, rat killer, and rodent bane, who has bravely made the cellars once again safe for buxom barmaids and wanton widows. Or has he? Or is that well done? <laughs> Not well done. More like medium rare. <laughs> now we'll have another go at him with this. 
You better hope I've cooled off when I return, or you're next. Some of the complaints I have of the game is that it can be unfairly difficult at times. I, you know, I was often getting my ass kicked in battle and desperately needed to heal my bard. You know, but for some reason, to heal yourself, the game requires you to access a menu and navigate two levels deep in it to select. And it doesn't even pause the combat. I mean, it's so annoying. I don't know how many times I died simply trying to quickly access that stupid menu just to get to health. Remember Charlie Moss. One, two, three, four, five. Now, my other complaint with the game is that it has very little focus for the first four or five hours. You'll simply just be marching from one dull quest to the next without any real sense of what the overall point of the game is. You know, finally, hours later, you will meet some townsfolk that will ask you to save their princess, which at that point starts the main quest of the game. But I suspect it happens after most gamers would have abandoned it entirely. Alright, that's my review of The Bard's Tale. Not quite the classic that the original was, but still really fun. If you see it in stores, check it out. You usually can get it pretty cheap. Thanks for watching.